What's going on, everybody? It's been a while. It's been a while. Today, I had an interview with a Blizzard recruiter for a position that they thought I would be really good for. And the recruiter was like, I was really excited because it feels like you really fit this role. And I was like, yes, this sounds great. And then he told me that uh, I was disqualified because I could not work on site because Katie is in a veterinary residency in CSU. So can't really move. So I'm stuck here, Fort Collins. And uh, so I was disqualified from the job. So that was fun. So still looking for a job. And then I had an interview with ZeniMax. And they really liked me. And then I had a five-hour interview with ZeniMax because that's what you do. When you go for game design positions, you have all-day interviews with multiple different teams. It's like four different teams. Um, so then I had that interview, and I think it went really well. And they got back to me, and they were like, hey, it's nothing you did, but we're going with someone who has experience with the studio already. So someone who's already worked there with the team in the studio. So couldn't really compete with that either. So that took about a month and a half. That was about a six week process. And I think I stopped streaming around that time probably because I was like, this feels really good. And I think this is probably something I'll, I, I can get. So it's been a rough six weeks. Uh, the unemployment's running out a little bit. This queue's not firing. So, you know, lots of things going well. Looking for a job still. Not sure what I can do because I'm stuck in Fort Collins, so it has to be remote or it has to be local. And unfortunately, I don't have a skill set that really uh, lends itself to the agricultural nature of northern Colorado. I even looked at master's degrees at CSU, and a lot of them are like literal science and farm and agriculture and things like that. And it's just like, not really my, uh, see, I got a job offer my second to last unemployment. I, you know, that might, I see, I don't think that's going to happen for me. And the reason is because like game design jobs usually take about like six weeks from beginning to end. Like you have to have a, 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 pr a preliminary interview to see if you're a good fit. And then after that, you get a game design test that you have like a week or two to take. Then it takes them a week or two to get back to you about the game design test if they like what you did. Then it takes probably another week to schedule uh, a, a large interview with multiple different people from the team or teams you'll be working with. And then after that, you have like another week or two before they let you know. So it's literally like a six week process from beginning to end. And, uh, yeah, so it's like, it, it would be hard for me to have a job offer in the next, like, three weeks. Because I don't really have any uh, prospects that are three weeks in right now, if that makes sense. Six of eight, huh? So I got, I got to tell this whole story <laughs> for four minutes before this queue even fired. So that's pretty hilarious. I paused it so that the YouTube YouTubers would not have to. Oh, and they updated it for, for March of the Machines. That's exciting. Ah, that's kind of exciting. I kind of just want to take this to play with it. Oh man, that's that that kind of makes me happy. That gives me a little joy in an otherwise joyless existence currently. And I'm getting married in 3 weeks, so that's pretty exciting. But also it would be really nice to have a job. <laughs> that's 
for that kind of situation. You know, it's just a nice thing to have when you're having to pay for wedding expenses. But, you know, maybe that's just me. Really, couldn't use the, like the new, the new, the new art for these, huh? Multiverse Legends art. I think it's just Brazen Borrower here. It's, it feels like one of the better cards in this pack. I really like Draining Walk though. Six five for five is just good on rate. Plus, you can save him. Although to put him third from the top is really like Ilharg slash God Eternal Kefnet. Isn't, it, isn't that their abilities? It's weird that they just put on Fibbletip and Borborygmos. God, I really like Draining Whale. I'm going to go with Brazen Borrow because it feels correct. This is a second black-blue land. So it's basically saying, hey, man, listen, you should have been Sultai, stupid. Because that's your thing. Uh, I had a funny interaction with Brian Kibler today. So that was so it's funny that this Rith showed up. It's all coming together now. Chad, what up, buddy? Thank you for the resub, my dude. Really appreciate it. 109 months. That is a good amount of time. This is the Green Sun Zenith, right? This card seems insanely good. Switch library for non-human. It's it's Finale of Devastation, but turns into a creature. So isn't it just like... It seems better. Am I missing something? It seems better. I'm going to take it. Hey, look, there's a land in our colors. I kind of just want the land. Let's open up this guy and put you over here. Beautiful. Oh, what up, Nicholas? Yeah, it's funny because, like, I think my frustration lies in that I'm, like, a jack of many trades but a master of none. You know what I mean? Like, I made content for, like, ten years in Magic. I top-aided a Pro Tour, top-aided a Grand Prix. You know, I, I, I've, I had a, I've had a game design position for three years. Like, but, like, I never hit the Ollie and Traz. Like, Ollie and I had a podcast together. Like, you know, I remember when Ollie and I were neck and neck in terms of, like, content right and then like he rocketed ahead and i don't understand like what i'm doing wrong because i feel like i've just been so stagnant for so long and maybe this is going to be a little bit of a real stream because of the, the just the general mood i'm in is this card any good i actually don't know it's seeing play It's gotta be this, right? I guess it can go in the main deck. Nine years? And that doesn't include like any months you missed either. That's insane, dude. No, I mean like I'm being serious. So, like I, I get I get you guys wanna yeah, so it's so funny. This is <laughs> like whenever there's an issue, whenever I have a problem, whenever something is really bothering me, everybody wants to make it their moment to be a comedian. Like they're gonna be like, this is my moment. I'm gonna say something funny. And I'm like, I really just don't, I'm just trying to be real. I'm just, I'm like genuinely having like kind of a, a discouraged time, you know? Uh, I don't hate a Seagate Oracle. I don't know if I love it, but I don't hate it. So, you know, that's important. I think we're going to take Sulfur Falls. Yeah, so I think it's just like... I think it's just like, I don't know how to break through it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm decent at woodworking, right? Like I just built these two cool cabinets that I have all my magic cards in. And like, I feel really good about it. I think it came out really well, but I'm not great at it. You know, 
I like Corsair of Crucifix. I, alternatively, I would love to design my own game, but we need ideas and we need funding and we need all kinds of things for that. For that, like, you know, I need something to live off of while I design my own game, which is, you know, kind of important. Mog Fanatic, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, the Draining Wolf came back? Yeah, all right. Pop is down for that. I'll take a Rex Sage. Look at all these three drops. What's that about? You know, what's that about? So I feel like I'm at a plateau, and I feel like I've been at a plateau for like four years, five years, six years. I feel like it's been a while, and I don't know how to... Oh, look, another three drop. I don't know how to break through that plateau. Oh, another three drop. <laughs> Is this a reprint? Scoot, I'm thinking of Scoot Mob. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm like, wait, which was the one that... that wasn't this one mana? This is a swarm. I'm thinking of the mob. You know. Similar but different. I think it's just a land here. This pack is kind of unexciting. Life is a constant amount of drafting three drops, man. I'll take a volcanic island. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful baby boy. There's a hinterland harbor that I hope comes back. Because again, this pack is also not super exciting. Charter course is decent. I don't even care about Shigeki here. We're we're actually just trying to play a uh, Karuga deck. I guess I got to get rid of this too then. This is an 8-8? Jesus. Oh yeah, Lotus Cobra? I'll take that guy. That's great for fixing and for ramping. And that's all you want to do, you know? Yeah, Nick, I, I agree with you. And it does feel... I, I, I have felt good to get so many like replies and, and interviews and things. Um, the problem is like, like the positions are running out, you know, there's not that many positions. And like, once I go through all the like possible positions for places and then they're just like, I, I don't get them for some reason for you know, one reason or another, then it's like, well, that's the end. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess I'm unemployed, you know, and it's just, I'm going to take this, even though I like fable, I just think we have far too many three drops and also like this is our only red card so i guess we have five red lands though so you know <sighs> maybe it was fable who knows i'll take an acidic slime here that guy's just good you know I bet black is open. I bet it is. Are any of these cards not? This is this is more like a two drop, right? These are all good. Oh, Flare Form with the resub. Really appreciate it, my dude. Oh, I I I have contacts at pretty much every place I've applied to or gotten. Uh. You know, I have employee referrals from Blizzard. I, I had an employee referral from Zenimax. Um, you know, I had a I had someone from 2K Games reach out to me last Friday. And I replied almost immediately. And they were like, hey, we're really interested in your application. We're excited to accelerate you to the next step of the interview process. Are you available to relocate to work at Firaxis's headquarters in Maryland? And I was like, No. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, oh, I live in Fort Collins. I guess I just don't get to work anywhere. Sorry. Like, it's really stupid. I mean, 
it's so funny because it, in a way COVID feels like one of the best things to happen to the game industry. <laughs> like in the sense that like, oh, cool. We can hire talent from anywhere. And now it's like, mm, just kidding. <laughs> we have all these empty offices that we have to fill, you see. Oh, all right, cool. I have no idea what the pick is here. I love Call of the Herd, but I don't think it's good anymore. It might just be... Pol oh, let's take Profit because we just took Counterspell and we have Draining Welk. And that seems pretty cool. And I want to take this Dream Root Cascade. Our land's going to be good. Our mana. Our mana is going to be good. Our lands are going to be good as well, but the correct way to say that is our mana is going to be good. I guess I'll just take this guy. Oh, the Hinterland Harbor did come back. How lucky. How lucky. I'll I'll take Dragon Lord of Targa just so I can windmill slam it at the end of their turn. Uh you may return an instant card. Yeah, that seems fine. Actually, Cruel Ultimatum could be good with No, we're not doing that. Maybe we're doing that. You know what? I'm gonna take it anyway. Because maybe <laughs> this is just a meme, right? This is just a joke. Okay. Yeah, like, I even said to Blizzard, I was like, you know what, I'm totally willing to, like, to travel to the office one or two times a month. Like, maybe every other weekend I can, or, like, you know, every other, like, Wednesday I'll go and stay till Friday and then come home on Saturday or something, you know. Which would probably be super inconvenient, but I was willing to do it because I thought, you know, that would help. <sighs> it's just so fuck. It's honestly, it's so fucking stupid. Like, it's really frustrating. Oh, you'd be a perfect fit for this role, but we can't look at your face. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I think we're good on lands. We probably just want... I think Jace is pretty good here. Although, if any of these three come back, I'll be totally fine. Yeah, I'll just take Jace. Oh, I like Night Pack Ambusher, especially with this uh, instant speed theme we're working with. Oh, Tropical Island? That just might be too good to pass up. I mean, the alternative is Augur of Bolas and Briar Bridge Tracker, which is eh, kind of meh. Now we have a Volcanic Anatrop. Cameo Completed Sage. Actually, I kind of just like this guy. I've always liked this guy. I thought this guy's super cool. He's like a green grave titan. Library. What does that mean? Oh, someone library. Dude, I didn't even recognize this art. That's hilarious. I was like, oh, this is probably just some like Kamigawa bard character. Because <laughs> there's like so many cards printed. And then they're all legendary like nonsense. I'm just like, oh, this is probably just a new commander card I didn't know about. Yeah, that's probably correct. Dang it, Nicholas. I really wanted the six drop because my creatures are kind of lacking. I guess they're not. We have 15 creatures. Actually, this is pretty good. Oh, man. All right, I feel a little bit about, better about that. Growth Spiral seems great. Um, we can also take Flooded Strand. Gets us Volcanic and Trop and Breeding. Do we need that, though? Mm, probably not. I'd rather just have the extra land from Gross Spiral. And there's a Misty, which is actually even better. I'm a big fan of this one. This one's sweet. I Obsidat's Aid was a card I used to really, really like. It wasn't playable. Like, it wasn't a super played card. But, like, I love reanimating big shit. And this reanimates. And Obsidat's Aid took any permanent. And I was like, wow, that's cool. 
and this is return target permanent from you know any permanent again so it's very similar to obviously that's eight if not the exact same thing but then you get the cool enchantment on the back too so it's like everybody wins you know i'll just take the misty though because we're not going to cast that and fetch lands are cool you know everybody you ever cast a fetch land oh you don't actually cast fetch lands stupid <laughs> oh, what a dubby I guess it could be Duskwatch Recruiter. I have cast. A, I bet you're a liar. I'm just taking Dusky. Dusky McMusky. Is this this one? Is this one good? Yeah, I kind of like this one a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna take this this Jaya. Like our mana is just good enough to do it. Uh, I do not code. I'm not an engineer. Uh, I mostly do content. So at Scopely, I was on the character and content team, character and combat team, and uh, mostly worked on designing characters, designing combat, uh, working in Unity a bit. Uh, prototyping abilities, working on dungeons and encounters, things like that. I'll take a little rattles. Do we just windmill? Do we just play this cruel ultimatum off of uh, Ren and Realm Breaker? Hard to say. What is? Oh, the oh. I don't, I don't know if this one's very good, right? Tap and... Uh, it doesn't untap. Sure, plus one. Great. Exile, non-land permanent card. Man, like, yeah, and this is the one where you just get a card back. I'm just going to take the the six drop. Because I, I was excited about it before, and it came back. You know, that's all I can really ask. Living Twister... Discard a land, deals two damage to any target. Return a tap land. Return a tapped land. I guess we're getting that one. <laughs> what are you trying to read a card? What are you stupid? You should just know what it does. Uh, I think this is actually perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Courier's briefcase is kind of mad, but maybe not with Realm and Realm, Ren and Realm Breaker. Lotus Cobra is good. I don't know if I love Shigeki. Return X non-legendary cards. Actually, yes, I do. That card's fine. I don't know if I love Spectral Sailor. This card... Oh, this card seems bad. It's not... It seems bad to me. Who's paying two life to add one color mana? Come on, who's doing that? Oh my god. Brett... Bretticus Maximus. Brett, can I link you to a Facebook post of something I did? Will you be able to see that, or do you have Facebook banned on all of your on all of your social medias? <laughs> How do I? There's got to be a way to get this post without this. All right, here I'm just going to show you guys this. Is there a way to copy? No. Okay. Brett, I really appreciate you. You're amazing. This is this is these are the these are the the cabinets I built recently for magic cards. In case you guys are curious. And you know, if you guys are watching on YouTube, you can easily just uh paste that you know, just write that link in the uh write that link in the thing, you know. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. They're not perfect. Like, I, there's definitely issues where I'm like, oh man, I wish I, I wish I would have fixed this, or I wish I would have did this differently. But ultimately, like, when I look at them now, they make me happy, and like, they're not bad. I think they're good for, for like a. It's only like it's also only like my third or fourth woodworking project ever. So, the link is very easy to remember. <laughs> but, yeah, just type it all. Type that into your little browser, and you know, head head on over. Someone said take out Spectral. Hold on, where were we? Cut Sailor, bring in the ultimatum. Oh, God damn, that's beautiful. 
Okay, so realistically, our ways to cast that are Realm, Ren and Realm Breaker. Curse Briefcase doesn't really help. So it's basically like you have to just get Ren and Realm Breaker, right? And if they kill it, then you're like, oh, well, I guess I can't cast it anymore. Search so for a greater non human creature card with any value X or less. Yeah, so this is what I mean. Like, I, I, I'm I'm decent at, like, a lot of things, but I'm not, like, I don't feel like I'm a master at any one thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's, and it's kind of frustrating. I'm like, how do I get to a point where, like, anyway, Spectral Sailor's out. Out, am I? Do I just want to play Scoot Swarm and just get a bunch of lands in here? I don't know. Will I have Delirium? I don't know. Uh, Brett, I agree with you completely about drawers. Like, not only do you have to, like, align, you have to, like, measure each slide where the slides are going to go. You have to make sure there's enough distance between the slides and the front of whatever you're making. You have to measure the drawer faces exactly. You have to put, like, you have to be able to shim in between each drawer to make sure they're evenly spaced, but then also have that measured so that you know how much space goes between each drawer and at the top and bottom of the drawers. It's There's a lot that goes into it. It's kind of funny. But it's one of those things where, like, the more you do it, like, the, the easier it is as well. <sighs> I'm playing Duskwatch over Cruel Ultimatum, and I don't like it. But, you know, that's life, really, I think. Yeah, Nick, I'm definitely open to that. Like, we should definitely talk about that. Let's sort by color. So we have three red cards, but an abundance of red lands. Oh my god, they didn't fix this yet? Do you guys remember, like, months ago where, I was, where we were playing with these friggin' negative lands is this an island or a mountain nobody knows wow that's so tilting oh my god dude Ugh. green sources one two three four five six seven eight nine ten red sources i i guess guess this is mountain it's so hard like my brain doesn't process it i'm like mountains all right we got two. Oh wait that's not mountains one two three four five six i'll go to seven here wait oh my god this is not mountains holy crap it's literally yeah it's happening uh one two three four five six seven eight so this is ten ten seven that seems good ironically the forest is purple yeah you said it was the mountain and it was the swamp and it was actually the forest so yeah good job you can't even get them wrong wrong right R right oh god this is painful to hear Maybe restart. No, that's these are these are not going to change. <laughs> I also loaded Magic Online right before the draft, so it's not like it's. And also, this was like this last time as well, and we restarted then. Like this is this is baked in. This is a feature, not a bug. <laughs> this is quality quality content. Got that briefcase, big briefs. God, it's been so long since I played Magic Online. I think it's six. Yeah, let's do a six. Okay, so now we're going to go Flooded Grovesies. Is this a swamp? I can't tell. Nobody knows. One. Some people know, I guess. I guess it's Dusky. 
God, now our Dragon Lord Tark only costs six. Well, you know, when he flips. Okay, so. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, God. Yo, Fizzle. See you later, buddy. Uh, do I just play the briefcase or do I keep up counterspell? Probably keep up counterspell because then we can just play the briefcase next turn. <clears throat> Is this... You don't do anything, right? You're just giving me a discount. That sweetie sweet discount. Oh, no. Uh, we're going to go... So we got to keep up double blue so we can keep up these. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just go like, like this. Oh yeah, give me that citizen. <laughs> yeah, if, if someone showed up with these, with lands that look like this in real life, like while they look cool, I would not be okay with it. Oh, big merds. You're a 3-3, three, three, though. But then if you block... I don't care about a murderous red cap. Okay. So now I have to draw three cards. Well, we're one mana away from... No, we're not. We can actually cast Dragon Lord Target, can't we? We can. We should have done that first. Actually, you know what? We just got... We got counter spell up. We can just wait. Plus, if we get Realm and... Realm... I keep calling him Realm and Ren Breaker. Yeah, see, that's, that's not... That's not gonna fly. We don't got to be doing all this. Come at me, bro. I dare you. Unless you control two or more other lands. I guess we're just going to play it now. I don't really feel like cracking this guy. One, two. Is it shift? Is it alt? What's the one that's just... Auto taps it. Is it Z? Is it M? What's the word? What's the what's the button? I guess it all goes with this guy. <laughs> what a sad little gentleman. I thought it was control, but control wasn't doing it. Control was just making me choose. All right, well, we got 11 power on board, so I'm sure they're going to play Wrath of God, Damnation, or some thing. What's it going to be? A Crypt Breaker. <laughs> it's not exactly what we were afraid of. And they breath of life their guy back. Well, now we can start playing the loot game. We got a bunch of three drops, so that's good. And that's pretty good. I'll take that guy. I like what's happening right now. So they're just dead to Dragon Lord Tarka next turn? Yeah, okay. I 
And that's the end. I don't really see any any justification to sideboard anything currently. I think we saw three cards, Breath of Life, uh, that little nugget, and a Crypt Breaker. Crypt Keeper? Crypt Breaker. Is he breaking it or keeping it? What's his job? Tell me about his job. Okay, that's an island. Let's keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, it's true. When it comes to crypts, you break it, you buy it. Oh, this could be good. Okay. Hexproof, not indestructible. Good to know. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. I will use this Sylvan Library ability. Um, let's put this on top. And then we'll put this on top. Play this guy. So now we're going to draw this guy and then put a Hinterland Harbor into play for free. God willing. Is that a morph creature? Oh my god. Oh, look, a land on top. I guess we could have just rearranged them on this turn as well. But... Uh, forest on top, huh? Put this on top. Put this on top. Play this. Off the top. I guess we'll just play this guy. I don't want to attack because then they just double block and that doesn't seem worth my Corsair of Crufix. What do you think it is? Exalted Angel? I bet it's an Exalted Angel. Uh, so here's what I... I, th I thought the options were reversed for Sylvan Library. I thought put on top was the top option and pay for life used to be the bottom option. I have no idea if that's correct, but it instinctively, my muscle memory felt like that was correct. Wow, they're just giving me a lot of lands here. Um, okay, we're going to put... Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, none of these cards really do much, but here's the thing. They only have three lands right now. So let's take them off this Swamp Arena. <laughs> okay, I did not see there was a Vengeful Pharaoh in their graveyard. I guess they Rafines informanted it? Fascinating. Did they choose to do that? There's a lot of confusion in my in my brain right now. I mean, what's 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 it gonna be? Put you on top, put you on top of that, play that. One. I wanna I'm gonna try control. Nope, it's not control. I'm gonna try Z. Z. No. M. No. X. No. Shift. No. Is it a feature that's been removed? I don't know. It's hard to say. I'll trade with any of these guys. That's a good one. 
It was an exalted angel. Big brain. Big brain. And that's the match. All right. This was not a... Is it a feature that is broken? It's, pro it's probably a feature that is broken. That would be my guess, yeah. So we got, what do we got? Four, five, six, and six. I'll give you a U2. I won't even abbreviate it. You'll get my full, you get the full words. I will keep this hand. Based on the amount of three drops we have. This is, see, this is frustrating because... What has a better chance of coming into play untapped on turn two? This will never come into play untapped on turn two. So this might. No, it will never. Neither of these will ever come into play un, untapped on turn two based on what we have. However, I do need a green. So any other land that comes into play untapped will let us play this or this. Whereas if we draw like Volcanic Island or Island or Mountain... We did not, but that's okay. It's okay. So they're on turn three. Okay. I was like, did I miss something? No. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Return to your hand. Real top four cards you allow me to put a land onto the battlefield tapped. I mean, that's pretty good, right? What if they kill it, though? Oh, man, can you imagine? I'd cry. They're also playing Teamer. Okay. That's good. Okay. We can make some monkas. I literally thought this was a mountain. I was like, cool, I got two red. I mean, I still have two red, but the fact that it was not a mountain is discouraging because it's really tilting for visual people. <laughs> That's solid. That's funny. I'm going to copy and paste that to her. Okay, you played Escape. Seems very good. Got that Borborygmos. That Bobo. Is it okay to call him Bobo? Is that... Okay. All right, and... This card seems really good if I had lands, doesn't it? Choose one of them, you play that card this turn. Okay, it doesn't say cast, so if I hit a land, I can... And unlike Chandra, I can do things in between, right? Like, I can choose, and then I can... Okay, I think I want to try to hit a land here because especially with Lotus Cobra, Misty Rainforest one time. Give Papa his Misty. They did not give me anything. I guess I'll take a Jace. And then we can go Cobra Jace. Okay, well, I don't feel great about it, but that's life, you know. That's what all the people say. One, two, three, four, five, six, you have seven mana. God. 
Some guys have all the luck. They discarded one, so they deal twice that much. Okay, so they can kill Lotus Cobra, Codus Lobra. Uh, Jace is going to loot, but what does that do for us? Yeah, I think we're probably dead here. Is there any way we can get six mana, seven mana to play Dragonlord Tarka? I don't think so. Yeah, we're going to go to the next game. This, yeah, well, I mean, you know, Magic Thirty really, really brings you through the whole, the whole gamut of, of Magic history, you know. I will play first. I'll keep this hand. This hand is actually gas. Turn three, Jaya. You know. If everything goes our way. Soaring might have been on top. Yeah, but I'd also need another land as well. So, you know. Because Soaring would just get us to that six. Also, Dragon Lord of Targa only kills like one of their creatures. So. Just don't kill this guy and we are Gucci. Okay, he survived a turn. Again, I was like, well, they got a mountain, so I can't... They, they could just shock him. Just kidding. It's actually a forest. <laughs> I don't even know how this bug happens. I, I don't even understand it. Like, what has to happen in order for this bug to even exist? Like for the for these specific five lands, how does it even know to put the colors, the negative versions of the colors? How does it even know to do that? I don't. It's just the the whole the whole existence of those lands confuses me. What does this thing do? So I'm heard you may play that card. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Great. Great success. So we have island, and I guess we'll get a green here because we don't have a a non-painful way of getting a green. I'm gonna discard Courier's briefcase here, right? No, I'll draw a card, then you may discard any more land cards. I I did not have any lands in my hand, as my opponent probably now knows. I'm pretty sure all, I'm going to actually check, man. I'm going to actually post this online and be like, are these lands a thing? Or is it just me? <laughs> like, cause now I'm curious. I don't know what's going on. I haven't actually looked at what's happening, so I could be getting utterly destroyed right now, but I'm hoping that I'm not. It also doesn't look like it. What did they play? They played Searing Blaze on Lotus Cobra. Sure, that damage is done. They played Rampant Growth. Yeah, that's all fine. I get to draw a card whenever he attacks? Oh, that's really good. Wow, that's brutal. Um, Very tempted to do this just to hit a land so I can maybe like Acidic Slime, their blue source. 
I have to discard two lands to kill the Shigeki. <laughs> Shigeki. Oh, what a funny name. I don't even have a second green here, so I can't even cast this Ren and Realm Breaker. So let's try to find one, I guess. Oh, wait. No, let's do this. Uh, done. You know what? I won't discard that. I will keep it. And then I'll play it. And then I'll play this sweet, sweet gentleman. Get rid of that guy. Hmm. And I got it back. Oh, yeah. There you go. What else? That's going to do it. We can play Ren and Ren. Does it untap up to one because of 3-3? Three, three. No, but we can announce it as an attacker and then Brazen Bar or the... Does it get haste? Yes, they always give haste now, just making sure. So yeah, what we could do is play Ren and Realm Breaker, target a land, attack with that land, after announcing bounce their blocker with Brazen Bar and they'd probably be dead. You know, in theory. So no green sources, but a Seagate Oracle and a Breezy? All right, you know what? We're gambling. Know what's cooler than pink black forests? I don't. I imagine a lot of things. Saving 15 on your car insurance on the Geico. Is that, is that cooler though? Hmm. Geico is actually my, my provider. And I wonder if I could, I wonder if I could do better. I'm always like, you know what? It's been a while since I've checked. I never drive because I work from home. And Katie likes to drive. So I'm just like, yeah, drive, whatever. No green, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, really hoping for a... Maybe we want one more green source in the deck and one fewer blue sources. Although it doesn't look like they're doing that great either. But then again, maybe they are. Wait, we're going to bounce that. Oh, beautiful. For spacious skies. Oh, ember with... Do I want this guy? I think I just want Seagate Oracle here for now. Because I want to be able to hit a land. Another mountain, huh? This is four out of seven mountains. Um, uh, it's Borborygmos. Like Borborygmos is so good that I just want to take it, but I, I know I need the lands. But the, the the honestly, this red does nothing for me. We have two double green cards. And everything else we can cast. I'm going to actually take this guy. Shove Junior. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, a Courier's briefcase, huh? Well, we're definitely playing Sylvan Library here. And then we're just passing. Oh, wow. Factor fiction. They lost the flip, so they get nothing. Oh, my God, Krark. Why are you playing that card? Oh, man. That's hilarious.
Coom Hellhound. This is just uh, Step Links? Just the new Step Links? What is happening right now? Uh, yep. Actually tempted to pay four to keep the counter spell, but then I also have to put this into play untapped. So I'd be taking six. I'm not sure that's worth it. Hard to say. Hard to say. Um, four mana, though. We'll definitely put this into play untapped. And we'll keep... We'll put you on top and then put you on top of... Nope. You on top of that. Yes. Could also just wreck sage this thing. I don't think they know about the ambusher though, so that's good. What did you get here? Shivan Devastator. That's pretty bonkers. Oh, they won the flip. Double rampant growth. Brutal. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I might have just played a five, five flyer with haste. Oh my god, they're exiling so many cards. Wow, definitely chump blocking that guy. Do we think they have Searing Blaze? Yes, yes they do. They lost. Beautiful. Come on. One more time. Come on. Lose, 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 lose. Oh, fuck. That's annoying. Oh, and I take six. Super cool. Pretty sure we're dead here. Solar Falls lets us play Borber Ignos, but we have no other. They have two cards. I mean. This actually, this is not terrible. This gives us two blockers. Oh, what we could have done is played Courser and this guy. Yeah, that would have been better. We go Courser, draw like Counterspell probably, put the land on top under that, play the land, play Rex Sage. Yeah, that would have been better. Uh, Brett, if you look at the post, um, they're two side by side that I connected with hex bolts so that they're really flush and two, three, yeah, sure. Oh, it's an elemental. Cool. <laughs> so two five fives, huh? Okay, so we can do the thing we were going to do last time, but is that any good? I don't know. We could also just play Profit, keep this in hand, discard it to deal two. That does nothing. Yeah, I think this game's probably over. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven total mana. Yeah. Sanitary high five. Nice. 
So we can play this into Bobo, but then we still have to deal with this guy. So yeah, I think we're probably going to concede. Yep, not great. I think we're getting... I think we need another forest, which is weird because we have 10 sources of green. We'll take out one island. Yeah. Okay. 17 lands, plus a Lotus Cobra. Shigeki is kind of like a Sakura Tribe Elder. Courier's briefcase ramps us. Like, I don't know. It's, it's always weird to me when you like get color screwed when you're playing 10 of a specific color because when you're playing a regular two-color draft, your distribution is 9-8. And you usually don't get screwed as frequently there. But if you're, then, you know, if you're playing a deck with 10 sources of green, it's like, well, why am I getting screwed here? I don't understand. Yeah, we'll keep it. So turn two, Sylvan Library, and a turn three, Run to Realm Breaker doesn't seem terrible. Into turn four, Jaya. Oh, dear. Well, that's unfortunate. You get a planeswalker. Does it untap the land? I forgot. Um, someone turn the future. No, I guess they they realized how good that is from <laughs> Nissa, perhaps. Oh, I like a growth spiral here. So put you on top. You on top. Maybe. Yeah, that's fine. We're still gonna we're gonna play Thrashing Bronto Dawn here. Cause I'd rather have a blocker for Ren and Realm Breaker than just run it out there. We also need the blue land to actually play the Gross Spiral. No blocks. This guy's kind of a pain against Planeswalkers, am I right? Yes, you're correct. Okay, good. Great. Um, One, two, grow spiral, put a land, put a land. So we can't do grow spiral and... Oh, we can do grow spiral and run and realm breaker, right? Green, green, green... Blue, green, green. Nope, no, wait, green, green. We're one green shy, unfortunately. No, Ren and Realm Breaker prevents that. So, yeah, put, put you on top. Put you on top. Play you. Go blue, red. Nope, blue. Nope. Green, green. Yep, no, we can't do it. <laughs> okay, we have to use the this... In order to play this, you know, you, you get what I'm saying, okay? Just, so that's a four though, and we're just gonna play this anyway. Oh my God, I literally couldn't see the forest. So if we went green, blue, to play growth, we get a mountain, I believe. But then we don't have the two green. Like, we needed this to fix to give the extra green for the growth spiral, but we don't have the fifth land, and then we play the growth spiral. That's that's the problem. And we're still hitting for six here. It's not terrible. Yeah, it could be worse. 
Sequencing is hard. You ain't kidding. Wow, a bunch of unblockable dudes. What are the odds they have a bunch of ninjutsu guys in their deck? I feel like it's high. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, now we can do it, right? I'm kind of tempted to pay four just to play this Jace. Let's do it. Uh, pay four. Put on top. Okay. So now we can go... Green, blue, growthy boy, put you into play, put you into play. Blue, blue, JC boy. Uh, make this guy a thing. And six, yeah. Again. Because next turn, if we hit a land in the top three, we get the Dragon Lord of Tarko. So depending on. Oh, God. You're just going to kill Jace? Oh, you're going to kill the big guy that would kill you. <laughs> I understand. I accept your decision. Uh, no blocks, as you might imagine. Oh, there's land. Oh, that's, that's very good. Um, I guess we'll put you on top and put you on top. Play this. Okay, so I'm holding control. Yep, not, not working. So that's a feature that was removed, I guess. Or what if I try right control? Nope. Sh right shift. No. N? Was it N? No. W. W works. Okay. I don't know why it's W. Pow, pow, pow. I should have actually attacked. I should have made a guy first. No. Then they would have been able to block with Shriek Maw. Okay. Well... Even with all these lands on top, now we can still loot them away with Jace, so. <laughs> doge hype? Go to doge hype. <laughs> Does that shit ever work? That's hilarious. Like, ugh, it's so funny. I can't imagine those work any reasonable percentage of the time. It worked on me. <laughs> Look at this. Another one lander. Uh, okay. I, I guess this, I was like, oh my God, oh, so many purple and pink lands. And then I realized this is a forest. So I guess that's good. Uh, Dunzo in the Bunzo. All right. Well, Noble Phoenix. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, guess we'll just throw this guy out there. Oh, uh, is it growthy or is it JC? It's got to be growthy because I got a bunch of good stuff. And plus we can just keep Brazy up. Brazy B. Easy, Brazy, beautiful. Sure. Whenever you activate an ninja... Okay, hold on. Let me, let me figure out what's going on here. Each creature card in your hand has a ninjutsu. Okay. Gross Spiral seems more important. Beautiful. Because next turn we can play Jace and keep up 
the big brays. Whenever you activate it, look at the top three cards. I don't really want them to to do some nonsense here. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I bet they're going to try to ninjutsu. I don't want them to activate the ability just because then they get that trigger. They get that sweet trigger. What set is the Pearl Pink Land from? It's from the um, MTGO Bug Secret Lair. <laughs> So we can go, let's, what are the odds there's a misty rainforest on the top? It's zero. But what if we go one, two, Lotus Cobra, one, two, three, four, that does nothing either. <sighs> okay. 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 Well, there's a problem here. We got to land, but it doesn't, oh, let's just cast Bobo. Yeah, let's just cast big old Bobo. I'm going to get rid of the Cobra because I don't see a, a reasonable time where I'm going to be able to play that dude. And this guy lets me draw a card too. Um, I don't want to discard to deal two. I'd rather just keep the land to play Hunt Master next turn. That's that's unfortunate. But it leaves you only two mana to ninjutsu. So I assume you're just going to play Baleful Strix. Terror. Clearing off the board here, my dude. Mm, I don't care. All right, let's try it. W. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it's W. If you guys were wondering what the key was, it's W. This guy's this guy's sweet. Oh, and now we still got the oh we can just we can just literally we can just wipe their whole life away. Wipe your whole life away. They only have they have two blue up. Is that is that good enough? Is that counterspell territory you think? Someone who has never used them, Joe, is definitely wondering if W was the key. Yeah, that makes sense. And we just won. He was like, you know what? I've seen enough. Five drop into six drop into seven drop. That'll do it. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you watching and hanging out and staying and being here for this momentous occasion where we start streaming again. I'm also doing a, I'm trying to create a little cube video and, and with, with some, some decent production for YouTube. So definitely follow me on YouTube if you guys haven't. That was a 2-1 for our first Magic 30 Cube. Um, I'm going to try to come back a little bit later. Um, it's a cube video about my cube, about my vintage cube, and about me and how I feel about cube. And it's just, it's going to be more of like a video, like a like an actual like video. I don't know. I like Pioneer a lot. Pioneer is one of my favorite constructed formats. I think it's very good. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go for now because Katie's probably going to leave in about 10 minutes and she'll be home in about 20 minutes maybe. But I'll see you guys later tonight. Definitely feel free to follow or subscribe and uh, keep a lookout because maybe I'll be back later. And it was great seeing you guys and I love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out and I'll see you soon.